Ladies and gentlemen, our third topic today is Africa's digital entrepreneurs. In recognition of the innovative men and women who have found new markets on the internet, new possibilities in tech innovation, and who have developed ideas, companies, and products that are flourishing thanks to Africa's growing connectivity. To lead us into this topic in a bit more detail, I'd like to introduce you now to Lars Linden, the president of Ericsson Sub-Saharan Africa. He is responsible for 43 countries on the continent from marketing, selling, and implementing telecom solutions and projects. Please welcome Lars Linden. Thank you for that, and uh, thank you for letting me introduce this very interesting section related to digital entrepreneurs in Africa. But before we do that, let's watch a small video to put ourselves in the right mood. Thank you. Hello everyone again. The Network Society, I will focus during these coming five minutes in three topics. First one being the Network Society, what it does and its capabilities and so forth. Secondly, our role, Ericsson as a company, what are we doing? Uh, and thirdly, what's in it for Africa? So let me start with the Network Society. The Network Society is the latest phase of a long evolution. This evolution started back in the late 1800s with the introduction of telephony on this planet. And more or less during 100 years, we in the industry spent our time connecting places through some copper wires and making the planet smaller for us that wanted to use voice as a means of communications. The latest 20 years, the concept of mobility was introduced and rather than connecting places, we started to connect people. So across the planet, we are some 7 billion, I think 6 billion people are using mobile devices today. And thirdly, which is still in the initial stages, I would say, not only in Africa, but also in the rest of the, of the globe, it's the phenomena of broadband and foremost the phenomena of mobile broadband. And this is what the network society is about. Our foundation father, Lars Magnus Eriksson, he said that telecommunications should be a basic human need. And over the last hundred or so years, we see how this has developed and it has become a reality. 
What we see now with the network society, we have a vision as a company, and we say that everything that is worthwhile connecting will be connected. And this video clip you saw over here just a couple of minutes ago, all these floating bright dots, they are dots of interaction of information between or people or machines or companies or organizations or cars or homes. We will see the build up of a planet that is totally and truly interconnected in all shapes and forms. Why is this important? We think that this is a new step of the evolution of how we live our lives, how we go about doing our business, how we go about educating our kids, how we go about handling very important subject matters such as healthcare, commerce in general, business in general. We will see the introduction of new business models. We will see new species of organizations step up on the stage and use, start to make use of this network society. And that is the topic of this section. The digital entrepreneurs of Africa, they will be able to use this platform that we are building. Ericsson is building this platform consisting of transmission networks, towers with antennas, switching facilities, IP networks, all of these things that we in this room never see in a daily basis, but it's there invisible and it's reached out to society through the so-called network operators that you are familiar with. So the digital entrepreneurs will be able to tap into this system, make sense of it, and start to deploy new services. And that is what's in it for Africa. To welcome the digital entrepreneurs, put their business ideas on the table, connect to this network society, and make a difference for society. Thank you very much.